are going to process our jars. I'm going to put it in to the simmering water, put my lid on. So from there, you wait until it begins to boil for the processing time to start. So I'm going to turn my heat all the way up, and I'm going to wait. With my water bath canner, I have this lid that is not see-through, obviously, so I can't really see when it starts to boil. A lot of times, if you are listening, you can hear that water start moving a little more. If you need to check it, you can go in and check it. Be sure to always open it away from you so the steam doesn't hit you, but you can check and see if it's ready or not. Once it starts to boil, that full rolling boil, you're gonna start your time according to the recipe. So for this, this is a fresh salsa recipe. We're gonna do 20 minutes. Be sure you start a timer. Don't think you can just guesstimate because sometimes I've been like, has it, oh no, I didn't start my timer. Has it been 20 minutes? Has it not? Don't do that to yourself. Do it on your phone, <laughs> do it on an actual timer. Make sure you do it for the right amount of time. So that is the same step you will follow every single time, okay? Start the time when the water starts to boil. My timer has ended, it has been 20 minutes. What I'm going to do now is turn the heat off, completely off, and then I will remove the lid. Be careful again, when you open it, it will be steaming. You're gonna let your jars sit in there for five minutes. That will allow them to cool down a bit. Just make sure you always remove the lid when you do that. Five minutes have passed and my jar is ready to be taken out, out of the water bath canner. You wanna ensure that you place your jar straight onto a wood cutting board or kitchen towel. You don't want it to go onto a cold surface. Always keep that in mind. If there's a little bit of water on top, don't worry, that'll kind of disappear later as it dries, but set it down and leave it alone. And so this is the hardest part. Don't touch your jars. Don't tighten the band. Don't get excited to push on the top of it. Just let it sit 12 to 24 hours. After 24 hours is when you can really check it to see if it's sealed properly. You might hear that ping that it does. Sometimes you hear canners talk about that ping. It's like a, it's an exciting sound because you, it's probably sealed, but don't touch it if you hear that. Leave it alone until it's been 24 hours after. And next I will show you how to check if your jar has sealed properly or not. 24 hours has passed since you have canned everything into your beautiful jar. Now is the time that you can check your seal and make sure it is correct. So let's start by looking at the jar. Everything looks good. So far so good. We're gonna take off the ring and we're gonna look at the lid. So you cannot push it down there's no like little noise when I push on it. It looks sealed all the way around. If you wanna just gently, with your hand still on it, but gently kind of lift and make sure that it is obviously not lifting, nothing is happening there. It looks sealed. This looks good to go. So you actually don't have to put this back on. A lot of times you can just leave it like this. It's perfectly safe this way. If you want to put this back on, you want to make sure you use a clean band. So you either wash that one or you use a new one, make sure it's dry, and then you can put it um, back on. I'll show you an example of something that is not sealed properly, and that's this. So if you've taken it out, it's been 24 hours, and you come up to your jar and this little area in the middle is pointed up like this, and you can push it down, it makes that noise. That is not sealed, okay? That is not safe to store. You need to either reprocess it again or put it in the fridge and just use it up, okay? So the difference, you can see this one is completely down, it can't push in. Can see the difference there. That's the main way you're going to know. Obviously, if something like this is doing this and there is content spilled outside of it and it's you know dirty and all these things, you definitely do not have a good seal. Ensure you always check your jars. Every jar that you can go through this process on each one just to make sure it is completely sealed and it is safe to store away.
If your jar did not seal properly and you want to try to reprocess it, there's a whole bunch of steps you need to follow carefully. So be sure to go on the Ball Home Canning website, it's ballmasonjars.com, to follow the steps on how to do it safely.